what's good beautiful people we are back with another Sanglanese twist crochet hair tutorial courtesy of the Mosina hair store on Amazon so today we'll be installing these Sanglanese twist and this is the ombre 18 inches and it's an ombre blend meaning that it's 1b 27 so one b towards the roots of your hair and 27 towards the end so it has that nice little blend and very conservative so if you're if you're in office you can definitely rock this color so the hair is also pre-loop which you know is going to be so easy to install as you can see there the, the loops so easy to unravel just a bit and the hair also comes with a, a complementary crochet hook as well as your hair jewels so guys let's get into today's video a section of my hair off camera which is literally just parting my hair into two sections because we'll be doing the individual illusion towards the front of our hair which I started by and then I'll be doing some individual actual installs towards the front so I'm gonna start um, by parting a section towards the front we'll be doing like having those individual installs so we're gonna give the illusion as if all our hair was individually done even though it's crochet so this is a hack that you definitely need so I'm gonna start off with doing the individual illusion first which is like towards the middle of my hair so I'm just making like small boxes and I'm gonna go ahead and plait that from the root maybe about a half an inch thereabouts yes and then what i'll do is to join that one to the another to the other one towards the back and this will be repetitive pretty much throughout the middle of the hair because what you want it the this to look like is as if your complete head of hair was actually braided in individually even though you know it's crochet so this is definitely a hack that i really like to do if you're an avid watcher of my videos you know this is uh, one of my favorite go-to to install my crochet um, here does I'm so appreciative that you actually clicked on my video today. You're seeing my face for the first time. My name is Jodie and I'm from the beautiful island of Jamaica. And you get all the things of fashion, beauty, and lifestyle related on my channel. So if that's anything that you may be into, I would appreciate you consider subscribing by hitting that red button down below. Now that I've finished the middle portion of my hair, I'm going to go ahead and braid back the back section of my hair, which is just pretty much straightforward and which i'll be using my crochet hook to secure my leave out or my natural hair so when i crochet on my single knees twist that will give it a little bit more security and of course going in with my black castor oil you know it's a protective hairstyle so i want to ensure that our scalp is ready for these braids and i'm just going to put that in and starting with the back section of my hair and just crocheting that all the way across and after which i'll just go ahead and crochet on the braids individually and that is what we have so far as i said guys this sanglanese twist was so easy to work with i was done in absolutely no time after i finish the back of my hair i'm gonna go on now to those um the individual illusion i'm gonna go ahead and crochet that on and i as i said guys i was done in no time i know i sound like a scratch record but remember guys if you need the information about the hair it will be listed down in my description box they have have other colors available other lengths available and uh, um, also what I observe about this hair too it is actually like a conical on kind of hair so you know you can definitely rock with the ends and uh, yes yeah, so I know I finished um, basically doing uh, all the crocheting of my hair now I'll be going in and uh, doing uh, the actual individual install towards the front So I've done most of them off camera and I'm just going in with my uh, um, hair wax or my edge control um, just basically to get my part a little bit more defined and guys remember when you're doing that you don't need to 
grab all your edges as you can see mine are very thin so i try to be mindful of not to gripping it too much then what i'll do is to use a wax to basically twirl that around now i'm grabbing one of my single knees twists and i'm going to pretty much unravel it and i just pretty much unravel it using one finger while untwisting it all the way down and it's as easy as that to get the hair the twist unraveled so after which then i'll just try to find the middle portion of the hair which i had initially and it's very defined right there and then i'm going to go ahead now and plait that on to my hair so i'm going to plait it maybe about five to six times you don't want it the plait to be too far away from the root because you want it to seem as if you are twisting away from the root after which i'll just separate my natural hair into two as how the single knees twists are and then i'll go ahead and go back into the formation of the original twist that it had by uh, um, basically twining the twist in opposite ends and it eventually just twists um, itself that's the best way i can explain it and i'm just going to twist all the way out to the end So this is what it is looking like and so we have our individual and i'm gonna go ahead and do that just once more guys it's super easy to do i had about five or six towards the front so yeah no big deal it doesn't doesn't take a lot of time to get done so i know you'll be wondering how many packs of hair did i use i used one pack of hair and throughout the end of the video i'm gonna show you what i had left over and in case you are wondering eight pack comes in the set and 35 braids come on each um little little twirl what we call it now the little thing that i showed you initially 35 braids comes on that so in all you're getting about 280 roots which is i think is more than enough braids to um twist to complete a full head of hair so this is what i have thus far and this is what my hair is looking like and this is what i have left over from using all my packs and i'm just feeling in between to see if i can apply any more after which i'm gonna go ahead with my mousse and i'm gonna apply a generous amount and i'm gonna basically put that into my scalp mostly and then of course you know we have to get those edges laid and this is what the hair is looking looking like with just as it, as it is and as you can see it's you don't know you wouldn't know that i did not install each of them individually so as i said before guys the hair has that hot water setting meaning that it can be curled and we know we're in the summertime and the curly ends are rocking so i'm gonna go ahead and rather set my ends by just basically putting them on a rod you can use a flex rod if you have those in ha on hand i still had these and i just hot water it um put those to dry removed it and that is what my curls are looking like after which you know i'm gonna go ahead once more and apply a little bit of mousse and basically brush that out and i like the fact that the hair is so light it's so versatile it is just everything and the color is absolutely beautiful Thank you so so much for watching guys until next time walk good